So just wanted to do a real quick update on my uh, 75 gallon reef tank. This is um, November. The last time I did an update I think was August. I'm not sure. But uh, you'll see everything is doing okay, I'd say. Pretty well. There's my uh, square back Antheus putting on a show there for us, huh? Uh, lovely fish. Uh, coral beauty angel next to it there. Few blue green chromis. Lawnmower blenny. My pair of clowns. Um, and what else is in there? Uh, there's a Bangai Cardinal. Hello. And there's a six line Rass in here somewhere if he ever appears but things seem to be going pretty well you can see my Xenia is still my pulse and Xenia is still going out of control remember it started with just two stalks so I'm quite pleased that it's uh, doing as well as it is and then same thing uh, my uh, flatworm problem that I was talking about in a previous video on this um, uh, cabbage leather, the Cinularia over here. You can see it looks a lot better. So I'm um, hoping that uh, adding that six line ras has helped because the thing was just covered with them. Now it's few and far between and it's starting to grow back. Uh, I, I'm still not convinced that it was, you know, doing all of the damage to it. But hey, you know. Um, like I said, it looks like it's pretty healthy now, but everything else is doing well. Remember, I had a problem with my, um, coke coral fighting with my, um, leather corals, excuse me, my toadstool leathers over here, the sarcophythons, but everything seems to be doing quite well now. I started adding, as you can see down here, some rubble rock. Um, because I wanted to make some room for pods and the pods uh, do well obviously in rubble rock so I have that pile or just there and then I have a huge pile behind this rock that goes all the way up as high as that cabbage leather and you know that way some nice places, A, for bacteria to continue to grow, beneficial bacteria, and then also for um, the um, pods to kind of uh, propagate a little bit more. But everything else is doing well. I still have my issues. Well, not really. Uh, my peppermint shrimp have taken out one of the Aptasia uh, that was on that uh, Vietnam zoanthid there. And as you can see now, I only have one left. There was also another one over here behind the pulsing zinnia. They have knocked that out. But aren't the pulsing zinnia just gorgeous? Look at them. See if we can get them pulsing there. So overall, like I said, the tank is doing pretty good. You see the fish are <laughs> pretty active. They like being out. I did add, as you can see, this um, very pretty uh, mm, orange money cap here that I love and as always my very beautiful Gorgonian in the middle there just doing its thing so um, also the watermelon chalice is still doing very well just wanted to get you a close-up so you can see the beautiful color on it so I think like I said everything is really doing well in this tank and I'm kind of glad you know like I said this is um, November now so that makes this tank started I don't know maybe around May ish because I had the leak in my 90 gallon and this is what we are uh, had to go to in lieu of that 90 so that is pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and end uh thanks for uh checking out the reef and here there's the uh square antheus over there again just uh flash on him for a moment and uh like i said thanks for uh checking in on the reef go ahead and like the video and subscribe uh, that way you'll be the first to see when i upload new updates or you know any other content i have uh 
I'm building a nice amount of reef content on uh, this channel. So check it out. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.